today i am going to give you previous knowledge information about the parts of computer the way how our body parts like hand leg eyes foot head are divided same way computer has different parts like monitor cpu mouse and keyboard so a computer is divided into four parts monitor cpu mouse and keyboard so children the computer is made of four important parts in the figure 3.1 monitor cpu mouse and keyboard you you can see the picture first we will see the monitor monitor comes in different shapes and sizes in olden days monitors used to be big and heavy but nowadays new monitors are flat and thin the monitor displays what we draw with a mouse or type with a keyboard the front part of the monitor is called the screen or display let's see cpu cpu is a box it is the central processing unit it is also called the brain of the computer it is the most important part of the computer it controls all the other parts it also does all the calculations for the computer the monitor is also known as the video the full form of video is visual display unit now let's see the mouse or meet the mouse a computer mouse has two buttons one on the left and on the right it also has a small wheel in the middle so children you can see the picture in the figure 3.4 the left button and the right button and it has a small wheel in the center or middle we will see the how the mouse pointer a mouse points towards an object on a computer screen it's also known as a pointing device so it's also called the mouse pointer you know children the first mouse computer mouse was the wooden wooden one it was much larger than a modern mouse and how it was the shape it was rectangular and it had a small button in the top right corner but nowadays a um, mouse is different on the left on the right it has two buttons and a small wheel on the middle now we will see the keyboard the keys on a keyboard that are used to open the locks it has many buttons on it and what is a keyboard a keyboard is similar to a typewriter used in olden times 
we use it for typing text numbers or special characters on the computer so see children figure 3.5 you will see the keyboard and it has many buttons on it so it is called keys so children can you see the keyboard very good now we will see alphabet keys alphabet keys are used for typing words and sentences same way you will see number keys the keys with 0 to 9 marked on them are called number keys the number keys are also called numeric keys they are used for typing numbers okay children a standard keyboard has as i want answer from you children as you know as you have already learned about the keyboard so standard keyboard has how many keys children yes very good 104 104 keys let's see the figure of caps lock key caps lock key allows typing in capitals when the key is pressed once press the key once again to type lower case letters a small green light on the keyboard indicates the status that is the lights are on in capital letters lights of lower case letters you will see all the indications when the lights are on and the when the lights are off let's see the space bar key so space bar key is used to insert blank spaces between the two words numbers or letters now space bar key is the longest key the thumb of either hand can use it same way there are enter key backspace key arrow keys so children these are all the different keys which is given which is given here let me repeat you again caps lock key space bar key enter key backspace key arrow keys now children coming to our lesson 4 the name of the lesson is let's type in notepad hi kids have you seen a notepad yes is not a, it the one you can write on it with pen and paper yes that is a notepad but here we will look about the notepad on our computer kids let's see the figure given on page number 28 so children you write a few lines about your best friend on the notepad as you can see on the on page number 28 and you can write about how you spend your christmas holidays and how you celebrate your dear new year you can write on this new pad so let's see what is notepad notepad is a writing tool which is used to create open and edit plain text so children computer has different types of work one of the function is to write and edit text start notepad window let's see how we have to open the window first click on start button figure which is given in 4.1 step 2 choose all programs and click on accessories step 3 select the notepad option the notepad window will appear as shown below figure 4.2 so here we will see in figure 4.2 work area in this space we can type the text as you can see in 4.1 children that is the start notepad window it's given in red color the notepad you can come to know that what is notepad which is given in red color so children that's the end of our this lesson let's meet in our next session till then goodbye thank you